All right, put down the pitchforks. Look at, I love Jay's Two Cents. I watch all his videos. I'm liked, I'm subscribed. I comment. The bell is rung. Okay, I've been a fan for a long time. Yes, look at, Jay is right about the issue that he found with, basically, you're going to lose some VRAM clock um, to support your max frequency. That's all cool and stuff. And, th and that's really cool to know too, because that's going to help you overclock or underclock or undervolt. Um, better just having that little bit of knowledge. The part where he is, you know, I wouldn't say wrong is the right word. I think that it's just that uh, he's approaching it in a way where he shouldn't. So basically, he's approaching AMD overclocking, undervolting, kind of like you would with NVIDIA. These are two completely different companies with uh, two, you know, different architectures, different components in their graphics cards. And um, the way that you overclock them is different. You know, the end result is the same. It's frames, right? It's, 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 it's performance. They, they, get, they get to the same destination just a little bit differently. Um, and, and he does mention that, that he's had problems with AMD overclocking before. And it's just a few, a few things that are throwing that off here. So now, now he does mention that overclocking AMD is harder. It is not, it's just different. So we're going to showcase that. And we're going to talk about why if you have a Sapphire 7900 XTX, you really should make some adjustments on that card because it is, uh, it needs it. And I will show you, I will show you why a hundred percent why you should make some adjustments to that card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my phone camera and, uh, Record my monitors so we don't have any OBS interference, no recording inf interference, and it's just straight results. So this is about Jay's most recent video, why does it do this? And it is a dang good question, to be honest with you. Um, but here we have AMD, 7, AMD 7900 XTX overclocking can lead to less performance. Here's how. Now, that video title is actually perfect. That is perfect. He does... He does showcase that, but he he just doesn't see the benefit of overclocking. He, he's basically saying, like, leave it alone. If you watch the video all the way to the end, which I did, I've actually watched it like two or three times, um, but it does show that it's like right here for whatever reason. Um, but if you click on it, got the thumbs up, subscribed, bell's rung. Uh, let's see. Oh, bell's rung. Okay. Now, if you look down the comments, you will see exactly how to overclock these cards um there's a lot of veteran what i would consider veteran overclockers down here who who know how to adjust these cards so um what i'm gonna do is show you my card stock versus some of the settings that i've been using to basically overclock it and and why i think you should so let's get into that all right we are on the phone camera Okay, here we are. We're gonna run a stock setting on this 7900 XTX and see what we get. Basically, everything's on default, fans, everything. Um, I haven't messed with anything. I do have the overlay on and we can kind of see what's going on. So let's find out. Keep in mind the glass panel is off my PC. I do have a ton of fans, so it does help a little bit. Frames are still looking good. Let's keep an eye on this junction temp. Board power, 347 for the most part. Look at that junction temp. Woo, baby. Now, 
Now I've seen it as high as 102. I don't have it on camera right now. It's about 96 right now. And there you go, we're dropping off here. So the junction temp gets really hot. We're getting about 261 frames, which is good. Um, we are on ultra settings with high resolution. So it's dang near extreme. Um, I've just always just used this preset, but uh, eventually we'll just bump it up to extreme. It's not really costing us that many frames. So now let's go ahead and apply some overclock settings. And it's more of an undervolt, whatever you want to call it, but load profile. All right, so here's some settings that I've been using. Obviously the smart access memories um, always on for both tests. Um, the fans are ramped up. The memory is bumped up to 2600. I can probably take that further. Uh, voltage is at 1090. Uh, max frequency is 2900 and minimum is 2800. So let's go ahead and run this again. Now, what we want to focus on is power and frames. Now, I don't know if we'll gain a ton of frames, but I'm guessing our temp and power are going to go down and we'll get probably a little more frames to boot. So let's go ahead and check that out. All right, so we're back in the game. Nothing has changed. We're ready to fire up another run. Now, remember our highest temp we've seen on junction temperature as recording is 96. I've seen it as high as 102 C, which is a ton of heat. But uh, let me show, this is exactly why right here, you want to basically adjust your card. Okay, now hang on here, watch this kicks in show the frames again frames looking good looking good okay we're gonna move off that okay so we can see the clock has adjusted to my settings the GPU board power is at three oh, 280 it'll probably be 280 between uh, 280 and 315 our our core temp is good, and our junction temp is 61C. That's a lot better, a ton better. And our memory is looking good. It's a, it's a little shy of 2,600. It usually bumped down like 15 to 20 points from where you set it. Look at that, the highest junction temp is 77. I'll take that over 90, 94, 95. So 268 frames, so we, we dropped board power, we dropped temperatures by quite a lot, and we've got better frames. Probably better lows, probably better lower fifths. Um, the average obviously is higher. So this is why I think 100% you should do some kind of overclock, some kind of undervolt on your system. Um, it just helps. It just helps and, and fans alone won't do this we can run a test like that so you can see like oh it's just because your fans are ramped up versus stock where they're they're hanging low so let's go ahead we'll revert back to stock now the fans will help but it's still gonna get hot it's still gonna get hot watch here so custom uh, everything's back to normal but we'll bump these fans up I don't like zero RPM at all. So this is what I usually do. I just come in here and kind of slap this up here. So not necessarily going for 100%. Because I don't really like to push them like that, but all right, we're back. Here we go. Now this is stock with adjusted fans. So we should see improvements. But the board power is still going to be high, and the junction temp is still going to be high. All right, frames are looking good. Let's go over. So the watts obviously are back up. The core temp is 44.
Junction temp is getting back up there. It's almost 80 C. This is with the fans um, ramped up. See the GPU fans are at 2,500. They do go higher than that, but that is um, pretty high for, uh, yeah, already. So, so look at that, still getting hot. So it almost doesn't even matter that your fans are spinning. The junction just doesn't have proper cooling. Um, I think Gamers Nexus also pointed that out as well in his uh, 7900 XTX teardown. Our frames are lower than our overclock. And, uh, and yeah, so you're gonna wanna make adjustments. Hang on. So yeah, you're gonna wanna make adjustments to these. Um, all right, so hopefully I've proven to you that overclocking these cards isn't just like a a cool idea. It's actually, um, for me, I think it's necessary. I don't like seeing my card hit 95C, 102C. I know I didn't get that on camera today, but it is super cold in the room I'm at now. So if you're in a normally heated space or a well-heated space, um, it's going to be hotter. So... Uh, don't take it from me. Look around. I mean, there's other people reviewing the same Sapphire 7900 XT X card. And uh, yeah, you can see it for yourself. So I think overclocking is mandatory or damn near mandatory for this card. And I'll put the settings down below. These aren't maybe not the best settings, right? There still could be more fine tuning to be done. The next video will be how to overclock AMD graphics cards so uh we're gonna do a full tutorial on that and we might even just use what people are saying in the comments because i believe that in jay's two cents videos and even the video i did last time for the xt um a lot of people are giving some great tips on on how to to fine tune these things so uh with that said i am out no hard feelings i promise you i love jay's two cents he is not wrong the approach on on the, the adjustment part was you know yeah yeah it could be better right so anyway i'm i'm done see ya